Good morning and welcome to all here in the sanctuary and all of those at home. We wish you a very Merry Christmas and hope you enjoy our extended Christmas program. This morning, our, please check your bulletins for all announcements and also please join us for a coffee hour after the service downstairs in the social hall. Please join me in our call to worship as printed in your bulletin. A child has been born for us whose name is called Wonderful Counselor. Good, Good Shepherd, shepherd deliverer, deliverer, Lamb of God, God the, the Word. Word. Mighty God, first and last, author of life. Morning, Morning star, the, the light. light. Everlasting Father, bread of life. Resurrection and life, light of the world, the vine. Prince of peace, chief cornerstone, Lord of lords, king of kings. The way, he is Emmanuel, God with us, amen. God has done great things for us. God's love is heralded in the promise of Christ. Holy is God's name. God's promises are fulfilled in the coming of Christ. God's mercy extends from generation to generation. God's salvation is offered in the gift of Christ. Amen. Please join us for O Come All Ye Faithful in your booklet on page 6. Jesus Christ is born in us today.
please again join me in prayer. O oh, wondrous God of the stars, we come to worship today again to see the babe who will change our lives. We hear the names Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Prince of Peace, and we are in awe that so much rests upon a tiny baby. You touched the earth in your unconditional love embodied in your Son. Touch us with your love too. Touch our hearts and minds and souls so that we may never tire of this story, so that we may never take it for granted. Amen. To us a child is born, to us a son is given. Let us pray for the people he came to say. Let us respond by saying, Hear our prayer, O Lord. Wonderful Counselor, you order all things with your wisdom. Help the church to reveal the mystery of your love and fill her with the spirit of truth. Hear our prayer, O Lord. Mighty God, the government is on your shoulders. Guide the leaders of our nations in bringing your kingdom of justice and righteousness. Hear our prayer, O Lord. Everlasting Father, we call us, you call us to live together in unity. Protect by your mercy all your children. Bless our families and renew our communities. Hear our prayer, O Lord. Prince of Peace, you bring reconciliation through the cross. By your healing power, give to all who suffer your gift of wholeness and peace. Let us commend to the world to which Christ came, to the mercy and protection of God. Amen. And now hear us as we pray the prayer Jesus the Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. What child is this who lay to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping? Whom angels great with anthems sweet while shepherds watch are keeping? This, this is Christ. The King whom shepherds guard and angels sing. Haste, haste to bring him, Lord, the babe, the son of Mary.
against gold and myrrh, compels and king to own him, the king of kings, salvation brings, let loving hearts enthrone. The virgin sings her lullaby. Joy, joy for Christ is born, the babe, the son of Mary. Our lesson this morning is taken from Isaiah 9, verse 6 to 7. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us, authority rests upon his shoulder, and his name Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continuously, and there shall be endless peace for for the, for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Yes. Matthew 1, 18 through 25. Now the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public distress, disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to divorce her quietly, but as he considered to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you will name, name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took her as his wife, but had no marital relations with her until she had borne a son, and his name was Jesus. Again, we welcome you to this Christmas celebration, and it is a wonderful celebration. We, um, Christmas Eve, had a total of 72 people for our Christmas Eve celebration, and we were very blessed to meet together, just like today. We're very blessed to meet together again. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for being part of this celebration. <clears throat> I don't know if you noticed, but in our decorations around the church, around the sanctuary, in the middle of each of the um, garlands, we have a crown. Did you notice? <laughs> There's a crown there. And so we're going to talk about the royal names of Jesus in this um, sermon titled, 
Who is this child? They are the crown adornments hanging from our garland decorations along with the ribbons reflecting the names of Jesus um, will help us know this Christ child, the son of David, this king of kings, promised Messiah. The royal names were um, designed and um, authored by Barbara Rainey um, uh, from Family Life Ministries, and that's where I got those uh, crowns from that group. And we are sharing some of those names, and they're written in your bulletin. So, okay, so you can read along with us. All right, you ready? And Jan's going to help you, and I'm going to help you. And uh, when we finish reading, you're going to look in your, we're going to help you look into your carol sing book and find the carol that goes with the crown. Okay, okay. good? The Almighty, Revelation 1, 8. I am the Alpha and Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. With the angels and the archangels we sing, holy, 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 the Lord God Almighty. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Please join us in singing Hark the Herald Angels Sing in our booklet on number seven. <coughs> The royal title, Lion of Judah, Revelation 5.5. 5. Behold, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, has conquered and proven himself worthy to open the scroll. Jacob blessed each of his twelve sons. To Judah, he says, 
Judah is the lion cub. The scepter shall not depart from Judah. The king's, in the scepter is the king's uh, symbol of his kingship and authority, and it was given to Jesus. Join us in singing, It Came Upon the Midnight Clear, on page number nine in your booklet. <clears throat> Son of David, Matthew 1, verse 1. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, a descendant of King David and of Abraham. The rightful king would be a son of David, giving sight to the blind and raising the dead. God sent his son to be born in Bethlehem, like his ancestor David. He came to be the ruler of the kingdom of our hearts, be born in us today. Please join us in singing O Little Town of Bethlehem, found on page four of your booklet. <coughs>
title, King of Israel, John 1, verse 49. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. 500 years after the destruction of Israel, two men appeared to what was Israel. John the Baptist proclaimed Jesus, the Lamb of God. Nathanael pronounced Jesus, King of Israel, a direct descendant of David and the long-awaited King of Israel. Please join us in singing the first Noel, found in your booklet, page number two. title, King of Kings, 1 Timothy 6, verse 15. He who is the blessed and only sovereign, the King of kings and Lord of lords. Indeed, Jesus, King of kings, is magnanimous, merciful, 
just, charitable, majestic, and grand, full of unlimited knowledge, unequaled power, and wisdom, a very different kind of king, always motivated by love. For God is love. 1 John 4, verse 8. Please join us in singing Joy to the World, found on your booklet number 3. The royal title, Lord of Lords, 1 Timothy uh, chapter 6, verse 15. He who is blessed and only sovereign, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. King of King and Lord of Lords is paired together inseparable. Jesus could not be king over all if he were not Lord over all. Sent from God, a free love gift of grace, bringing salvation, transferring us from the darkness into his kingdom of light, redeemed and forgiven. Christ the Savior is born. Please join us in our um, booklet singing Silent Night on page one in your booklet.
Come now and kneel before the Christ child. Bring all that you are and all that you have. Offer your gifts in wonder and surprise and awe. Offer your gifts in joy and delight. Our offering will now be gathered. Sweet little Jesus boy, they made you be born in a manger. Sweet little holy child, didn't know who you was, didn't know you'd come to save us, Lord, to take sins away our eyes was blind we couldn't see we didn't know who you was long time time ago you were born born in a man Jesus boy, the world treat you main Lord, treat me main too, but please, sir, forgive us, Lord, didn't know it was you. Jesus boy, born long time ago, sweet oh, little holy child, and we didn't know it was you. Please join us in your booklet for our closing hymn, page 11. Go tell it on the mountain.
we are going to say our unison benediction. So we want you to say it with us. Okay? Let us go into God's world, bringing messages of peace, love, and hope to all we meet. Thanks be to God. Amen.